Alright guys, you're here at Gracie Chats with VT1, Liam Resnikov and Mr. Duncan Robinson, blog extraordinaire. We're here to do some nasty footlocks. This week we're going to be teaching some nasty footlocks. Mine's legal, his is completely illegal, that's why it's called the Reaper. <laughs> Next week we're going to be showing you guys some nasty knee compressions. So, let's get straight into them. Mr. Duncan, on your back step please. So I'm looking for my Achilles. First key to a good Achilles for a leg lock on the ankle, is making sure you're actually attacking the ankle, not the middle of the leg. Most people fall for that. I'm not going to go through basic Achilles technique today because most people have got a, a, a solid Achilles. But the thing is, I really want to make him feel like the foot's going to break, not just that there's pain on the foot. So if I just go like this, there's going to be pain. I want everything twisting and breaking at the same time. So the first thing is to get that going. The second thing is to lock him down so he can't get out of it. Now, when we're doing it, the stand Achilles involves a choking bone going over here and going for the leg. Mine's different, okay? This feels like your foot's gonna fall off. So as I go for it, I'm wrapping slightly differently. So I'm not going around like this. I'm actually gonna use this part over here to go on the leg. And I actually started doing that with guillotine and I'll explain that afterwards. Okay, so watch. I'm going not like this. I'm going around the leg. My thumb turns down. I go down with a straight arm and I come up and around. And Duncan can already start feeling pressure. It's really on the end of his foot already. Now, as I fall, I'm just going to do this gently. I fall to the side and I lock it on here. I'm not completely on the back of his foot now. I'm too high on the bone. So I wrap this up and I slide backwards so I'm on the end of his foot. He can already start feeling it now. Now, all I do is this, guys. I drive my fingers down, I pull his foot off, and then I arch my hips into it. Really, really painful. So I'm just going to do it from here just to show you guys. So instead of going here, this is the normal one. I get here and I extend out and I crank his foot. Okay, so this one's slightly different. We're sitting up here. I'm going to go around. Thumb goes down and out like this. Look, thumb goes down and up and out. Now look, as I go here, I'm on the back of the foot here. I get to here. Now I pull to the end of the foot. And all I'm going to do is I pull the foot off first. And then I arch down and I really reap on that foot there. It's a lot tighter than a normal one. But it also, escape, it also stops the escape, which is as I go here, he turns his foot in and pulls it out. Okay, so this one stops that happening. Have a go yourself, but it's a really, really painful position, as Duncan can attest. Yeah. Now, on to the illegal one. Mr. Duncan. Uh, so this is, this is a Sambo knot. Um, it's been called a Reaper a, a lot. Um, and this was just one we, we did a lot um, when I was training out in the States. Um, and basically, it's completely illegal for a competition jiu-jitsu. you were going to say, you know, Cold War Russia. In Cold War Russia. No, there was plenty of Russians in America. Um, <laughs> So, uh, but basically what it is, it's a similar kind of setup. So, you know, uh, if, you, if you get, if you frame it like you're going to go for a standard one and instead of falling this way, what you're going to do is you make space, you're driving in this way and you fall down and over the in here. So the idea is, is that this is the reap, uh, which is from jiu-jitsu. You don't want to reap, obviously, but in this technique you do. Um, and then what you're going to do is control this leg. So this is the initial position for it. It might seem weird because you've got the, the, the foot hidden back here, but that's okay. Grab the pant leg, pull it nice and tight, bring this leg out and cross it under. And then you can cross it in here. This is where we want to end up. It stops me rolling out. It stops him rolling out. It stops him doing anything. It's nice and tight. Now, you think he can come up into you, but you've got so much pressure. All I have to do is scissor out my legs here. He can't punch me, so try and punch. I've got enough distance and there's so much pressure, can't you? You feel pressure. I, I, don't, I don't want to move. You don't want to move. Um, and you can actually, if I just scissor my legs straight out, you can put his back on the mat. So you just, it's just, it's an awful position. The great thing about this is it frees up both your hands to do leg locks. So you've got twisty ankles on this side. If you bring it in, Ooh. you can go for a standard Achilles lock. There's an immense amount of pressure. But you've got a lot of pressure here. And the nice thing about this is because the leg is so bent, like, Twisty ankle finishes are really easy, and if he doesn't tap because he can't roll, you can blow out the knee as well. So it's a it's a brutal technique, but great for finishes in MMA and Abu Dhabi. Wow! So completely illegal in competition, guys. So please don't try that on your training partners when your coach isn't looking. So guys, two adjustments, two modifications to the standard leg lock, the illegal reaper, which I think is a very effective position, and also the different grip. So pulling the foot off rather than just attacking on the Achilles. Have a go guys, and we'll see you next week for some more positions.